So the last video I made was about how there might be a surprise Nintendo presentation happening this past week as we had a credible insider who was saying that Nintendo had been moving up presentations that they had planned for September to now be happening in August and this past week is the final week of August because starting tomorrow it is going to be September 1st. I'm going to be uploading this video on August 31st so this was really the only week that Nintendo could have some presentation if there was still going to be one happening this month. And then this past week, Nintendo came through and surprised everyone by not just having one, but two presentations combined together by having an indie world as well as a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase happening together on the same day. Now this information had come from a leaker known as PH Brazil, who was a Brazilian journalist who was talking about a lot of information and they really kind of rose to popularity by being one of the first people who talked about how the Nintendo Switch 2 wasn't going to be coming out this year as Nintendo seemed to have internally delayed it to now coming out in early 2025. And at first nobody was really believing him because we had that big report from Nate the Hate that came out saying that it was going to be revealed in the month of March and then all of a sudden all of these other journalists and media websites started reporting on the same thing we had like Bloomberg and VGC and Eurogamer and all of them saying now that they've heard also that the Switch 2 had been delayed to early 2025. And then on a podcast, PH Brazil was talking about how internally Nintendo was moving up presentations that they had planned for September to now be happening at the end of August and that Switch 2 information was going to come after. And then in the final two weeks of August, we had a Nintendo Direct for the museum that's going to be opening, we had an Indie World presentation, and then also a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. So yeah, that definitely looks like multiple Nintendo presentations to me, but this is where it gets really interesting because the one thing that we've always had in the month of September, ever since the Nintendo Switch's generation had started, was a big mainline Nintendo Direct. As this has pretty much happened every year except for 2020, but that was just a weird year because we didn't have any Directs at all, but even just counting that with the Partner Showcase, we had one in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022 and last year in 2023. So the big question was with the Nintendo Switch 2 just around the corner and stuff, was Nintendo still going to have that big September Direct? And to me, these presentations pretty much confirmed that we're not going to be getting a big September Direct now because these were definitely announcements that I feel like a big Nintendo Direct would have had and they definitely would have made a lot of people excited by seeing stuff like the Trails in the Sky remake getting announced for the first time, Yakuza coming to the Nintendo Switch. Like you couldn't tell me that people wouldn't flip about seeing those types of things in a mainline Nintendo Direct, but instead they decided to have a partner showcase instead and pretty much whenever we do get these partner showcases, they end up being replacements for when we were supposed to get a Nintendo Direct now, as ever since 2020 had stopped and we started getting mainline Directs again, you can notice that because even earlier this year when we had like that February Nintendo Direct partner showcase, that's usually around the time when we get a big mainline February Nintendo Direct, but instead we just had a partner showcase and we didn't have anything else and that's why we didn't have anything else until June when we got like a mainline direct this year. So I feel like this is pretty much kind of the replacement now for the September direct because if you think about it, what is the September Direct really even going to talk about now unless they still somehow have some first party announcements but I really feel like they don't because we've already kind of seen what we know now to expect for the rest of the year. We've of course got the Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom coming out in September that is just around the corner a few weeks away and then we've got Super Mario Party Jamboree in October and then Mario and Luigi Brothership in November and then even like Fitness Boxing 3 I think was announced as something that was going to be happening in December and that is also published by Nintendo. Nintendo. And so really Nintendo has covered up all of its important pillars now in terms of its announcements for software as they had an indie presentation to showcase indie games, we also had a partner showcase now for third party games, and then we already know what to expect in terms of first party stuff from the June Nintendo Direct with like Zelda and Mario Party and all of that, so at this point now no matter what types of games you play on your Switch you know what to expect and that pretty much clears the slate now for the month of September. And that really is adding now to the credibility that the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal is going to be just around the corner. To me, I really can't piece together any type of reason why Nintendo wouldn't have a mainline September Direct that they've been having for like the past 7 years unless they had something else that was big that was going to be planned for September. 
And a lot of people did say that September to October time would be the best time to reveal the Nintendo Switch 2 if it was going to be planned to be shown this year, as unless Nintendo is planning to show it in early 2025 in like January or February next year, if it is going to be shown this year, I feel like by the end of October would be the absolute latest. If we get to like Halloween time and we still haven't seen anything about the Nintendo Switch 2, I don't think that it's going to be shown this year. And I know some people might say that they might show it off at the Game Awards, but I don't see that happening at all because Nintendo Nintendo is definitely the type of company who would want to have like their own big event to have their announcement for the Switch 2. They wouldn't want to use like a show that somebody else is running like Jeff Keighley to show off their new system. And we've already seen how much Nintendo shows up at these Jeff Keighley presentations. They barely have any announcements if they ever do. So that's pretty much a big reason I feel like that we won't see it at the Game Awards. And really, if we get to the end of October without hearing anything, then yeah, it's definitely going to be a 2025 reveal. Now something that might surprise some of you is with the Nintendo Switch's reveal back in October of 2016 for the NX, the day that that was supposed to happen, we had Tom Phillips from Eurogamer say here on Twitter that hours away from the Nintendo NX's reveal, here is a reminder of everything that I reported back in July. And this article that he did say was kind of the most credible article that we had for what the Nintendo Switch turned out to be, as not even clicking the article but just looking at kind of the headline, it says right there that NX is a portable console with detachable controllers. And that's obviously exactly what the Nintendo Switch turned out to be. But the crazy thing is at the bottom here where he said, fun fact, back in July, Nintendo was indeed targeting September for the Nintendo NX's announcement, but Mario NX wasn't running perfectly. Now it is. So this is crazy because, I mean, considering that he got so much information correct about the NX already, it's kind of logical to think that maybe Nintendo was planning the NX or the Switch to be shown off in September, but he said here that Mario NX wasn't running perfectly. And remember, this was before they even showed off Mario Odyssey in the trailer like this was before the NX reveal happened and he already knew that Mario NX was basically going to be in it with Mario Odyssey so that definitely does add some credibility but it also adds kind of the idea that Nintendo was initially planning to have a reveal in September but it just ended up happening in October because they weren't able to get Mario Odyssey running perfectly so now that adds a little bit of idea now to possibly thinking that maybe Nintendo is planning to have a September reveal like they wanted to for the Nintendo Switch 2. Now, if Nintendo is going to reveal their next generation system for the first time in September, let's talk about exactly when it would be the best time for them to do it because there are, of course, other things happening in September. And I feel like because of that, Nintendo wouldn't have like a brand new next generation system announcement alongside with those things. So there are definitely, I feel like, better chances of an announcement happening. So if we take a look right here at the entire month of September, the very first thing that we've got is the first week. And we've actually already heard that this week is going to have impressions coming coming out for The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, and I think even Mario Party Jamboree. And so this has already kind of been talked about. I think that they're even having like demos that people can play at PAX and stuff, but we already know like the media and the journalists and press are going to have impressions articles coming out for Zelda Echoes of Wisdom and all of that. And Nintendo usually even retweets like some of their favorite articles and all of that when impressions for games come out. So because of that, I'm not expecting any type of announcement to happen in the very first week of September. Now the second week of September is a pretty open week. I think that there's definitely a decent chance that maybe Nintendo could have the announcement for the Nintendo Switch 2 reveal during this week, but we also have heard rumors that apparently Sony is going to show off the PlayStation 5 Pro during this week, as we've heard rumors that apparently there's going to be an announcement happening on September 9th. We've also heard rumors that there might be like a PlayStation event or like a PlayStation showcase or state of play or something happening that week as well. And I mean, we also have had like Nintendo Directs and PlayStation state of plays that have happened on the same day in September. So it's not like I don't think Nintendo would really care that much if they do show off the PS5 Pro. If Nintendo does have it still planned for that week, I still think that we might see the Switch too, but it is something to also kind of just think about. This third week of September though, I would say has the highest chance of them showing off the Nintendo Switch 2, as I mean we've also kind of had the NX reveal happen around the middle of October when that reveal happened, this would be the middle of September. I feel like this is also kind of a pretty open week as I don't think there's really any other like big video game presentations or anything happening that are rumored to happen during this week of September as well, so honestly I feel like this would be the perfect one if they do have it planned to be revealed in September. 
And then with the final week, I don't really think that this is possible either because, of course, this is going to be the week that The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom is going to be coming out. We also have that brand new Nintendo Switch Lite with like the Zelda edition that's going to be coming out that week as well. And we also have Tokyo Game Show, which is a huge event that they have, of course, for the video game industry where a lot of Japanese developers gather and they have new announcements and reveals and all of that, which happened there. So just having all of these things happening and then having Nintendo have their next generation system announcement with all of that too, it would just get way too overwhelming, so I'm not really expecting it to happen in the final week of September. But speaking of Tokyo Game Show, I honestly feel like this is one of the biggest reasons why Nintendo would have the reveal for the Switch 2 before this event happens, as of course this is going to be a big event for the entire video game industry, but of course on the Japanese side of things, where so many developers and a lot of game announcements and things happen, and if Nintendo has already revealed the Switch 2 by then, this is actually now opening up the door for a lot of developers to finally confirm games that are actually being worked on and developed and coming to the Nintendo Switch 2. Right now, because Nintendo hasn't shown off the system officially, developers can't talk about any of their new projects or games that are also going to be coming out for the Switch 2, even if they're also going to be available day one with everything else, because they have to wait for Nintendo to have that announcement. But that's why if Nintendo does show off the Nintendo Switch 2, even if we don't get like the full information about it, because that reveal trailer probably isn't going to have like the pricing and the exact release date and all of that, but just seeing the system for the first time and finally getting the name of it, it would definitely enable developers to finally start talking about their games that are now going to be coming out on that system and maybe even showing the logo for the system appearing in some of their trailers and footage and stuff for their upcoming games. And this isn't confirmed information, but I'll always be of the belief that the Nintendo Switch 2 was supposed to initially come out around holiday this year, and it was supposed to release in like late 2024, around September, October, or November, but behind the scenes, Nintendo seemed to have run into some issues with some of their games and first party things, and because of that, they had to internally delay the entire launch of the system into early 2025, as pretty much all of the rumors and credible leaks and things that we heard last year were all saying that it was supposed to come out holiday 2024, and it just feels like like that was supposed to happen but other things ran into like kind of issues for Nintendo and because of that it needed to get pushed further. Now the reason I'm talking about this is because this is actually very important for Nintendo's third party developers and their publishing partners and stuff because if they were all told to expect the Nintendo Switch 2 to launch in holiday 2024, of course they've made their games and announcements and things to be planned around that, but also we did hear that earlier this year all of them were told now to expect the Switch 2 to come out in early 2025, so obviously that's going to play an impact now on their sales projections and things that they had planned according to a holiday 2024 launch, and so that's definitely going to be impacting a Lot of third parties and other publishing partners for Nintendo too, so I feel like even Nintendo themselves knows now that they eventually need to show off the system so that these publishing partners and third parties can also start talking about some of their games that are going to be coming out for that system, but they can't right now because Nintendo hasn't shown us what the system looks like and the official name for it. And can you imagine how exciting it would be for the rest of the year where after Nintendo shows off the Super Nintendo Switch or whatever they call it and we start to see like announcements at Tokyo Game Show and the Game Awards where they reveal new games and announcements and trailers and all of that and we start to see like a Super Nintendo Switch logo or whatever they call it start to appear in the corner when they show off like what platforms it's going to be coming out on. I think that would just create so much excitement and people would be so happy seeing these types of things now get confirmed for Nintendo's next gen system. Honestly, one of the memories that I have of this happening was actually with Nintendo's own announcement where once they announced the Nintendo Switch being kind of like the reveal for the NX in October of 2016, we had the Game Awards that happened in December of 2016 where they showed off a bunch of new gameplay and stuff for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I remember when they showed off that trailer, it ended with them showing off the logo for the Switch and then also it coming out on the Wii U. And that's when it really clicked to me like, oh yeah, this is coming out on the next gen Nintendo system as well. And I feel like just seeing like a super Super Nintendo Switch logo appearing for big third party announcements and things that would happen at the Game Awards and other future reveals that happen for the rest of the year, it would just create a lot of excitement now knowing that those types of things are confirmed to be coming out on the Switch too. And finally, the last thing that I want to talk about is how we have heard the rumor that the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be going into mass production in September, as this is actually coming from like an official CEO of a semiconductor company who's talking about how they're going to have their sales for like their shipments and things go up very high towards like September and for the rest of the year because they're going to be expecting to have a lot more for Nintendo and PlayStation and Xbox because they all have brand new systems coming out. So it does make a lot of sense. And because of that, I feel like the 
the one thing that Nintendo really kind of risks by having the system go into mass production is now this means that millions of Nintendo Switch 2s are going to start to be developed and assembled and things inside of factories. They're going to start to be packaged and they're going to be sent to Nintendo's warehouses and wherever they decide to store these things. And because of that, the chances of somebody just sneaking a picture and taking a picture of like the screen or what the system is going to look like is going to go up rapidly high. And the worst thing that could happen is the Nintendo Switch 2 gets revealed before Nintendo decides to have like their official announcement themselves because somebody decided to upload a picture online of what the system is going to look like and having them hold it in their hands and stuff because that's the worst way to have an announcement happen. It would just spoil the surprise and everybody would just not have like that exciting way to have it officially be from Nintendo themselves because that's what made the announcements for like the NX and the Switch so exciting is that nobody managed to get a picture of what this system was going to look like and what it was going to be like and we all were surprised for the very first time just seeing that guy get up from the couch and then taking off the controllers from like his uh, Joy-Con grip and then attaching it to the side, taking the system with him on the go, we were all losing our minds in 2016. And so really the only way to get around that now is by Nintendo themselves having their official reveal for the Switch 2 before the system goes into mass production because then the chances of it leaking are going to go up really high. But yeah, there you go. That is pretty much all the information that we have right now about the possibility of the Nintendo Switch 2 and Nintendo's next-gen system finally being revealed in the month of September. Honestly, with everything that's been happening, I feel like there is definitely a pretty good chance that we might see this system get shown off in September. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to click that like button and also subscribe to the channel as well as I'm definitely gonna have some more videos talking about Nintendo Switch 2 and Nintendo's next-gen system as the information comes out. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this. Are you guys on board now that there is going to be a reveal for the Nintendo Switch 2 in September? Or do you think that they're not gonna have it this year at all? Do you think it's going to be in October or if it's going to be in early 2025? Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. But if you don't have anything to say about this, just comment your favorite emoji down below for some engagement. I would really appreciate it. Go follow me on Twitter at AgileArrow if you ever want to be featured in videos. And also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo. So definitely be sure to join that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.